welcome back to Let's Play Panzer General in Belarusia, where it's now Allied turn 11, 13 turns remaining, so almost, almost halfway through the battle, and we've taken almost half of our objectives. We've taken these through these four. Had that one at the start. We need to take one, two, three, four. There are five more. And let's just put this infantry in front of it to defend that. Um, we were quite lucky that the Germans didn't reinforce Vilna, since they were able to drive away this poor T-34. Don't really bother with the lit replacements here. I suppose I could, it's a, f it's a forward unit, so I'll probably have need of it again. Um, let's see, what else? It's time to s make sure that there are no Germans lurking in there. Out. Oh, there appears to be a clear path for our T-34s to follow. Um, unfortunately, it can't get at the artillery because the Sturmgeschütz uh, controls this hex, so advancement in there would stop there. So to move north to press there or to move south to possibly outflank it through the woods. This is the southern battle group so I think we'll send these guys south. And follow up with further troops although this guy is very low on fuel we might as well replace and resupply. Um, this guy is not as low, but on fuel, but his strength is suffering a bit. It doesn't quite have full fuel either. We'll get replacements and resupply for him as well. This tank is badly battered and probably in need of replacements, but um, I'm sure I can be bothered to spend the prestige. Um, yes, we need to try and deal with Boranavici. I think I prefer to attack with a comparatively cheap unit. Hopefully I'll be able to replace so use infantry in a city. Oh, and it even got the first shot. That was lucky. But the mod is going to shoot back with three. Yeah, we took some losses here. It's not too expensive to replace them, though. Let's press our attacks using another infantry unit. Again, we get the first shot. That only goes to show how little it helps to have supreme initiative ratings in a city. I don't remember whether Reckon units can actually take cities. Let's try. Yeah, they can. Baranovich now belongs to the Soviet army again. And of course we will keep pressing forward. You can roll a little further before stop and refuel and resupply. Oh, right. A little bit further and then you're really going to need to replenish. Uh, there really aren't 
a lot of Germans that can threaten you, so it might as well just send you forward as soon as po as quickly as possible. Um, these partisans will probably never get anywhere sensible. I give them just ordinary replacements. guys might get somewhere since they've got transports on. Oh, roll them forward. Oh, more partisans. Okay. These guys will be tossed with holding on to Minsk, I think. Our artillery rolls forward. Our tanks roll forward. We are attacking on a fairly broad front now, but we're reaching towards Volkovsk. I know there is a unit of leader, and we need to press our attacks towards Vilna as well. Didn't use any air forces at Baranovici. Do you think maybe our air units could reach Vilna? It looks like they can. They saw them can. Even you can. Probably can't. No. Means you probably can't either. No. So it's this guy or nothing. Um. We'll try it. We control this airfield now, so uh, it's this bomber's luck. Oh! It's getting shot down by the Sturmgeschütz. All it did in return was weaken their entrenchments. Hmm. I think I'll use another T-34. Saw how well that one did. <laughs> this guy is better, but also he's suffered more losses, even though his tanks are actually better. I think I'll risk my inexperienced. I see you want 22. Of course, uh, he would run into a rugged defense. The entrenchment lines are at least getting a bit used. expecting to do very well. Right, you are almost out of fuel and ammo. We have to do something about that. If they've got a defensive line there now, then we're in trouble. But you should at least be able to block them from attacking. No, they've got nothing in there, so next, next turn we'll try and cross the Niemen River. Then in the meantime, oh, this guy is probably doomed. So stupid of us to attack him there. rather. You and there you can at least bombard him. Oh. Ah, I was hoping you'd fly over that city. Maybe you could? Now oh. the all avoid leader. Mm. 
I think mostly our fighters. You just take ordinary replacements. Mostly our fighters have refueled now. Might as well take some replacements, get back up to strength of 10. You probably should too. But you can't really. I don't have any airfields to do that just now. Okay, this yuck has finally reached three stars of experience and has become a veteran. So, a good reason for it to get somewhere where it can hopefully take replacements eventually at least. And you will simply. Fly down there and scout a leader while you're at it. You are running low on fuel and need to fly somewhere and refuel, but but I'm a bit she is a good fueling spot. And then these guys. Fact, let's move most of our air forces down to Baranovici because hopefully from there it'll be able to strike Volgovisk next turn. Save the life of this inexperienced ISU, but then it might not. It might cost me an infantry unit. Try it nonetheless. Result, stupid anyway. I just sh I shouldn't have used that at, you know, to attack that one. And then the the one mistake leads to another sort of. Well, I can at least get artillery support for you. Unlike that poor anti tank. And I need to keep pushing forward, of course. Engineers. Right, some air defences will probably come in, come in handy. And as for you, yeah, go forward. Move forward. Southwest. Should be about it. Right, there's a KB-85 here that I haven't moved. Again, we've got so many of these hurt tanks. It's also low on fuel and we've got the prestige, so let's replace the losses it took. And then send these guys forward, definitely. Time for another turn this video. Let's see what the axes do. They're probably going to press some attacks here. Yep, they attack their ISU, which is poorly you know, inexperienced and will get destroyed, of course. Cool. 
We needed... It wasn't complete madness to, to put the infantry in there because it does have artillery support and we need some, needed some unit here to avoid again the possibility that he could reinforce uh, Vilna. Now we're going to bombard with artillery. Not that it's likely to have an awful lot of effect, but it'll reduce the entrenchment values. Oh, and it did have effect as well. I think this is a good position to be in. You might be able to bombard lead our next turn. On that note, bombard the storm ships and then the artillery. Quite effective. Put the artillery down here. I need a unit there though. So I'm willing to actually attack the leader. Perhaps you use the Soviet infantry. At it. We're bombing this guy. Of course they shoot back, but they're down to uh, half strength now and shouldn't be as dangerous as they might have been otherwise. Perhaps this time we'll be able to... No, we still won't be able to... <laughs> Smash up that stronger shit. Well, it's in a city, yes, but it's got no entrenchment now. That's E34 with improved uh, guns should be able to deal with it, although it'll probably take some losses first. Yes. 10% loss, and then attack. Wow, it's still clinging like for dear life. Try with the infantry then. Three infantry, 30% of an infantry force trying to attack the Stroke ships defending the city. Finally, it was successful. Okay. Uh, give me a sec. Sorry about that, I just got a little phone call. And now I've forgotten what I was doing. <laughs> oh well. Where were we? Oh yes, it was this infantry. I should have mounted that and sent it forward, probably. But or at least take that city. But I can always send my T-34s to do that. I'll use this one, it won't get that much farther forward anyway. And... Yes, our IS-2. Well, no defences. Very interesting. It's... Hmm... Looks like this. All right, let me if I send you down, there's still nothing. Okay, to take an apparently unoccupied airfield. Want to make sure they don't set up a, a some sort of defensive line here. Well, it'd have to counterattack very quickly. I also think that securing a uh, river uh, sort of bridgehead across the Nyaman and possibly even towards Nada. Oh! This was 
not a brilliant idea considering how little fuel you've got, but we can at least... Well, we can attack. We've got enough ammo to try and attack. Oh. And now the ice 2 attacks this air defence. Fortunately, it was just a flak 38 and not um, an 8.8. It's obvious uh, we need to bring further armoured forces forward to support that IS-2 and relieve... Um, let's see, air, air defences. Probably nice to have some air defences um, at the airfield. Bridging units. Um, could use it to attack that one. Or bring them forward against more important objectives. I'll put them in there and then I've got the option of doing whichever and deciding later on. Uh, bring these guys forward. Again, don't seem to be the Germans in here, so I think I might as well put you there. And these guys are gonna push southwest. Yeah, these guys, time to mount them on a truck and put some. Designs and to defend Minsk. Although, hmm, we do have some air transport. We could use that to bring some of our partisans forward, actually. And we obviously need to. Okay, they've got a bunch of relatively cheap, but not too crappy anti-tank uh, tank destroyers here. Uh, remembering how all that Sturmgeschütz did against uh, bombers further north, I think I'll instead. <laughs> um, oh, an infantry following on to possibly cling on to these forests. These guys shoot back as well. But they don't have very strong um, armor. <laughs> Above their heads, so it's fairly easy to bomb them to bits. Unfortunately, I don't think we've got any other bombers who can reach there. Oh, let's give this guy a bit. is crap anyway. Let's use it just to weaken the entrenchments of this jungle ship. We're probably going to lose a fighter, but no, just got some pressure. Well, 
We even managed to hit one of the stronger ships. That's lucky. Press forward. tank uh, outright at all because it's got that annoying initiative rating. It tends to get to shoot first. Probably actually a good idea to use this G34 move up on the artillery. Try to get probably move uh, anti tanks in here to block it, but he might not, he might be more concerned with digging in. If he does, then we'll get there. Uh, eventually. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna have to accept some losses. Have to... Can't make an omelette without breaking a few eggs. I expect them to take greater losses though. Yep, and they're falling back. Not a single unit left. follow suit. The thing is they can't really, well, they can attack uh, art tanks but not with any, not so any great effect. Uh, we, we attack them, they shoot first, but if they attack us then we attack, our attacks will get to shoot first. I don't know whether this guy, probably best This guy really needs. Well, he needs to resupply as well. Otherwise, he gets very little ammo. I think I'll just resupply him rather than. Now, to attack these martyrs. This is actually 39 infantry. This is uh, this infantry has got outdated equipment actually. Well, which is only to say that it's as good or bad as the Soviet infantry, really. But still. Start purchasing new fighters again. Alright, I think that's uh, about it. Uh, I'll try and keep uh, keep these videos around the half half uh, half an hour or so. So I'll see what the Germans do in uh, the next video, basically.